Talent? I don't believe in talent. To be successful at anything, the truth is you don't have to be special. Well, some people, they have talent. That's it's good. It helps when you have talent. As long as you have a lot of determination and willpower, that's all you need. And you, you have to have the will to win. You just have to be what most people aren't. Consistent, determined, and willing to work for it. No shortcuts. Because you only need three things to win. You can write this down. The balls to start, the brains to learn, and the heart to never quit. And the good news is you already have all three. You're just not using them. Because fundamentally, if you found somebody and they started and they continued to get better and they never stopped, they would win. Just think about it from fundamental basics. Like if I said, okay, think of a person who only did one thing and all they dedicated their entire life to was doing that one thing and getting better and better at that thing. And they did it for 50 years. Do you think that person would not be incredibly successful? Of course they would be. Then why aren't you doing it? People have talent. People have a lot of talent. And this is going beyond your talent. So when talent, when there's no more talent, what happens to you? Most people quit. People only go to their talent level. And once their talent level is gone, it becomes a mental game. That the whole mental game sets in then. And most people can only perform to their talent. Effort, dedication, work hard, because the talent is not enough anymore. And if you don't dedicate it 100%, you're not gonna reach the level that you want. The work works on you more than you work on it. And so if you want to be the best in the world at something, you do the work to become the best in the world. And the work works on you. It's still in me, there's work ethic to fight for what I believe in, chase after my dreams. Nothing's ever going to be given to you. Everything's going to be earned. If you don't go out there and put in the work, you don't go out and put in the effort, one, you're not going to get the results, but two, and more importantly, you don't deserve it. Even if the thing that you're working on right now doesn't amount to the outcome that you expected that it would, it doesn't mean that you don't become better through doing it. I see, I see fighters, I see runners, I see people who they're great, but they get to the edge of their talent. It's like, fuck, man, what, what's, what's up? Because you're now at the point now when your talent ain't gonna do shit for you, my friend. Now it's the mental game. I don't believe in talent. I'm here because I worked hard my whole life. Without that work, no one in this room would know who I am except my family. So to all the kids around the world, watching, paying attention, and aspiring to be like one of us or even on the stage someday, put the work in and watch the magical ride you go on. I'm not talented. It was life and death. Either you live or you die. Which one do you want, Tom? That was the decision. In the corporate life and in the gym. But if you want something bad enough, if you want something bad enough, you can't let anybody tell you you can't do something. I'll repeat that. If you want something bad enough, you can't let anybody tell you you can't do something, not even yourself. Make up a mission statement, an ethos in which they want to live by. And every morning you wake up, you hold yourself accountable to that mission. Not a company's your own. Make up your own mission statement. What do you want to be in life? And once you do that, now you can work with somebody to get better. You can work with yourself to get better. But until you know what you want to stand for, you will always just be sitting down. You'll never stand for anything. What's that quote? If you don't stand for uh, something, you'll fall for everything. That's it. Work like hell. I mean, you just have to put in you know, 80 hour, 80 to 100 hour weeks every week. You know, most of the talent people, they're lazy. Right. Most of them. I meet a lot of talent people, but they all like, I don't want to say 100, but 99% they're lazy. Mm -hmm. Because Allah give them this and they think, okay. Sometimes the guys with all the natural ability, they don't have the, the work ethic to be the greatest because it comes so easy. If, when you don't have talent, you have to work so hard. When you work so hard and sacrifice your time, dedicate like sacrifice, you become more disciplined. You need that like Jordan, almost like sociopathic approach to it. If other people are putting in 40 hour work weeks and you're putting in 100 hour work weeks, then even if uh, you're doing the same thing, you know that in, in one year you will achieve what they achieve. You, you will achieve in four months what it takes them a year to achieve. 
You should push yourself beyond your limits of tolerance in your 20s to find out where it is. How much can you work? How disciplined can you become? Like, can you work 12 hours a day? Can you work eight hours a day? Can you work three hours a day? Like flat out, where's your limit? And a year from now, it's gonna happen like that. And who is your future self? One year from now, who is it? Just like everyone's out of here, go party Saturday night. They're not willing to sacrifice. I'm like the lone survivor in here, you know? Tonight will be over with two. Tomorrow I'll be stronger for it. Another day will go by. 365 of them happen so fucking fast. Who are you going to be in a year from now? And in a year from now, does that future person hold regret or pride? So many people that have the ability and just refuse to get off that couch. Refuse to study a few more hours. Refuse to go deeper, to go further. And that's where I gain the advantage. It's so easy to be great nowadays, my friend, because most people are weak. Most people don't want to go to that extra mile. Most people don't want to find that extra because it sucks. It's miserable. It's lonely. It is a huge advantage to come from fucking nothing. Here is why. Because you had the biggest motherfucking chip on your shoulder that you could possibly have. You got fucked in every way. Everybody tells you your shit. Nobody thinks you're going to succeed. Everybody laughs at your shit. And if you're smart, you could absorb that energy and use it to move forward. And dude, every single successful person at a massive level has this crazy story of how the fuck they did it and where they came from. And it's not because they just get there and start making up stories, bro. It's because those people have something to prove. They have a mission. They have an enemy. There is no get out of jail free card. This is why I say stay hard. Because when you weren't given the gifts, the only thing you can do in life is stay hard. Because the man or woman that's willing to get up every single day and go to the gym and get their exercise routine dialed in, even if and even when it's cold, it's raining, it's too hot, it's windy, the car broke down, I don't feel like it, the kids are crying, my neck hurts, I didn't sleep well, I had nightmares, I didn't sleep long enough, I overrate, I underrate. Even if all those things, you're still willing to go to the gym and do it, that builds some high level of fucking discipline. And I know people cannot stand me. They can't stand this talk. This is all you can do. There's no magic pill or a magic potion. All you can do is outwork the man that God created or woman in you.